gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Welcome to the Gaming Gods Podcast. This is episode two. We have a lot of topics today. But let's get to it. Fellas, plug yourselves in. What's good? It's King C's. Yo, what's going on? We got Chris Man975. Let's get to it. So we have a whole bunch of topics today. We have first topic, well, the, other, the topics that we have today are the UFC 4 thoughts. So we're going to be talking about the thoughts about UFC 4. My thoughts, Chris' thoughts. Um, Halo Infinite is delayed till 2021. Yikes. That's a good thing. That, that's just my opinion. That's just a good thing. Um, we're also going to talk about Hyperspace Thoughts, the new Battle Royale game that just came out like a few days ago. Um, also, we're going to talk about Cyberpunk Live Wire event. So, they, I'm going to basically explain to y'all what they told, like what they was explaining in the, um, the event. So, basically, you have live paths that you can do in the game. So, you can play as three types of different characters in the game. Um, I'm going to also talk about the weapons they have in the game. Also, Rocksteady has released a new photo of the new Suicide um, Squad game. So, basically, they showed a picture of the Flash. We're going to talk more about that. AMC is opening back up. We're going to talk about that as well. Oh, AMC. The reason why I hate playing with randoms. I'm going to talk about that. Explain that. Um, Fortnite has beef with Apple. Damn. Why is that? Both of them make so much money and they have beef. That's crazy. Um, we got some <laughs> Def Jam release news. We got some Tony Hawk Pro Skate news. We're also going to talk about Laszlo leaving Rockstar. Um, what else are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the DC Phantom event is coming up soon. And we're also going to be talking about this um, game that I'm playing now, Zombie Driver Immortal Edition. I'm going to explain <laughs> my thoughts about it, what I like about it, and stuff like that. But let's start off with the episode with some bullshit. Some paranormal shit, some scary shit. So, yesterday I found out that Annabelle the doll from the movie... Has escaped, well, not escaped. People are saying she escaped, but she's missing from the museum. What the hell? Like, what's going on? Like, what, what's your thoughts about this? Like, what, what's going on with this? What's going on? <laughs> Let's keep it real and just say she escaped. Like, we don't know what happened. <laughs> like, what's your thoughts about this? Like, what? Uh, Go ahead, Chris. I, I, I wouldn't mess with it anyway. I, I, like, nah, we don't, we don't put ourselves in that type of situation so it's crazy i mean you starting doing something as small as like stealing a doll like really stirs up a lot of just crap um but uh yeah i don't want i don't want no part of that i don't i don't know what's going on in the afterlife i don't, um we're just gonna keep that over there so that's all i gotta say on that I wanna be working in that whole that that um <laughs> that museum no more. Like I mean, I ain't messing with it. I be like, hey, I put it in my I ain't no two weeks. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm <laughs> gone. And <laughs> be like, why you leaving? Hey, I'm gone, bro. I, I ain't you. about to mess with that. I ain't taking no chances. That's a fa- <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> Alright, yeah. let's let's move on. Um let's talk about this um Halo Infinite being delayed till twenty twenty one. Now, my thoughts about it, that's a good thing. Oh, by the way, um, King C's, I just sent you an invite with the Avengers. Make sure you accept that. But anyway, okay. Halo Infinite being delayed till 2021. I feel like Xbox is smart by doing this. Because what you showed us was trash. You showed <laughs> us trash. How are, you ha- how are you bragging about having the most powerful console in next generation? Next generation. But when you show us the trailer, it's like, what the hell is this? Like, if you have a most, if you have a powerful, uh, hold on, bro. like, system, take advantage of it. Make sure you use it for your your best abilities. But what you showed us was complete bullshit. But they're doing a the smart thing by delaying it and making sure they give us the the Halo that we all wanted. What's your thoughts about it? Right, um, man, I, I talked about it last week. Um, I I don't think that Halo was gonna be good. Like it hasn't. Um, 
I mean, I've seen so many people, not seen, but heard so many people talk bad about it, and it's been nothing but facts because the Xbox just drops the ball whenever they get a chance to do something spectacular. Um, mm. I'm Pause just confused. On Pause on that. Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. <laughs> I feel Preach. like every time right they there. get a chance, you drop the ball on it. Like, Man. like just think about it. That's like you get you got a Super Bowl winning pass right here, and you just drop it. Like it, you can't keep doing it. Mm. Um, worst part about it is, is like you pushing back Halo. What other game you got to go with your console now? Because you haven't been announced a lot of stuff. You don't have a lot of uh, you don't have a lot of uh, exclusives anyway. Like what are you gonna do now? So. I mean, it's it's Xbox, and they gonna do whatever they do until everybody yell at them to get it right, and then that's when they'll change. Mm. Yeah, I, I, you're right. They had an opportunity to like really swing some buyers to them with this uh, presentation that they did with the Halo. But like you said, man, they just gave a layup to PlayStation with that shit. Because it just was really, really bad. I didn't care for it at all. I told you, like, on the last episode, it was very slow to me. And, I mean, for it to, like you say, have this much power, for them to brag so much about this power, they sure didn't do anything about showing it. Um, even with all the other games that they showed in their showcases, like, nothing to me was really, like, eye-catching, like, that I seen from PlayStation showcases for the next system and the generation that they're using. So, um. I'm just disappointed at Xbox. I mean, I really was going to look forward to buying Halo and just, like, getting that refresh and that restart to Halo, but ain't no way in hell I'm going to buy that trash. Nope. Not in hell. Nah, I'm not doing it. And uh, it's just, I just feel like they needed to, They that was, I mean, they heard the people as far as everybody saying, like, we're not dealing with that, and they ain't had no choice but to go back to the drawing board. They had to, like. Or they was going to come out with a product that was going to be um, half-baked again. And more people was going to be disappointed. And they was going to end up losing more customers at the end of the day. So, yeah. I want to did it. I feel you. Mm. All right, next up. Oh, did you get the invite? Oh, yeah. They said I ain't unlocked the what's your name yet. What I got to do, go to the war table or something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me go right. to the war table. Let me go next to the war table now. So... Hyperscape Thoughts. Um, this is new battle royale game that just came out a few days ago. Um, Ubisoft announced it at their like recent conference, and it's like a futuristic battle royale. So it's basically a mix uh, of Apex with a little bit of Titanfall. And the good thing about this game, there's no fall damage, so you can jump off a tall building and not die. That's the thing. I, that's the best thing I like about this game. But That's it's hard to shit. kill someone. It is hard to kill someone. Because the thing about jumping up in the air is people can use that for their advantage. So if I'm shooting at someone, they can easily just jump above me and kill me in one second. That's the thing I hate. But the game is so fun. You know what I mean? Mm. You just got to get used to it. Um, the weapons are pretty strong. Um, they got a lot of weapons. Um... I see this game having a lot of potential. I see a lot having a lot of potential. So do you think it uh break into like numbers like uh like Fortnite and things of that nature? Pro- if they do it right, but let's 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 all let's all think about this. This is Ubisoft. We know their history. We know how mm-hmm. Ubisoft get down. They show us one thing and it's total bullshit when it comes out. So mm-hmm. I caught like with me. I have a hate and love. I have a love and hate relationship with Ubisoft because, like, the last game they disappointed me, disappointed me in with was what's that um, game they came out with that disappointed me? Um, Fall Cry Five. I I liked the game, but I didn't like the ending. I didn't like how they went at it, you know. And Ubisoft, they show us one thing. They show us a trailer. They show us some gameplay, and then when the game comes out, it's like, what the hell is this? You know, but hopefully Ubisoft is like focused to it and Apex. How about the end of the to face the father. You end up. I didn't like that. The other is, and basically like, all that game, those strongholds that you unlocked it, all those weapons that you unlocked. It, it's like I did all this, 
And it was like for no reason. And then the fucking town got ho- nuked. Like, what the hell? How did that happen? <laughs> so they said, oh, find a nuke, under- set it off, or did the on how? And then he- I didn't like the ending. I didn't like it. But it was a good game, but I didn't like the ending. It just went all over the place with that. Yeah. Ending, huh? it's, it's, I didn't it's, like it. I didn't like it. It was just like, what the fuck is this? But I don't. Have y'all heard about the game, or have y'all heard any seeing any gameplays or anything? What's your thoughts about it? What on you, Far, Far Cry Five? Far. No, not Far Cry Five. Um, um, Hyperscape, the new Battle Royale. Oh, Hyperscape. Game. I just seen like the little highlights and stuff, or the little previews and stuff from it. But I ain't like played it or anything like that. I mean, from what I see, I mean, it got a shot if they listen to the. With these type of games, the best route to go is to always listen to the people, the, gut, yeah. the customer base, and just adapt to what they saying that you would need to approve on and things that you need to take out, things that you need to put in. Yeah. Um, when they do that, they usually always end up being successful, and the people usually always stay loyal to those type of uh, type of games. So yep. if they stay loyal to their customers and listening to them and just hear them out and feed into, you know, making the game better and listening to the people they should be good they should you know be up there with the upper echelon so battle royale games thanks what about you chris uh i i gotta agree with uh with chaz i mean he said it they just gotta they just gotta listen to the people that's literally all you ever need to do to succeed just listen to your fan base and I mean, I personally just believe Fortnite's only successful because it was free. Um, and because they have so many partnerships with so many people. But I haven't played it. I've watched some trailers and it looked good. Um, other than that, I really don't have much to say. Um, just cause I gotta, I gotta experience it for myself. Like, I can say one thing and then play it and just be like, oh my god, this is garbage. Definitely. Um, so... I mean, if they listen to their fan base, they can definitely succeed. Can they be as good as Fortnite? Be up there with Fortnite? I don't think so. Um, just because Fortnite, like right now, is in a class by itself. It came out when um, the shift of gaming came out. Because mm-hmm. for a very long time, what was the last thing? It was uh, the last popular um, genre of game was, what was it? It was uh, uh, Zombies. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And then we switched from uh, randomly. It randomly got popular. Let's talk about that. Um, from zombies to um, battle royales, and that's where Fortnite was. I mean, because if any, if we all remember, Fortnite wasn't even supposed to be a battle royale game. Yeah. It was supposed to be a PVE um, builder, mm-hmm. and that's exactly that's when mm-hmm. I bought it. Like I bought the game when it first came out for the PVE building. Um, and they saw that, hey, that's not cutting it. We got this new train coming over. Let's hop on this. Hey, you really want to kill it? Let's get to kids. Let's get some sponsors. Let's get some partnerships. And we are going to um, forecast straight to kids. Forecast straight to kids. You want to make it better? Every three months, we're going to put out a game pass. Um, cause, uh, not Game Pass, Battle Pass. I mean, Fortnite's the first game that, to my knowledge, Fortnite's the first game that came out with the Battle Pass. They started the trend. Every three months, we gonna get $10. Hey, you want some more skins? $10. Like, that, that's how you get it. And they definitely did what they needed to do. I don't think there can be another game like that for Fortnite. Um, just because they already have, first off, um... I mean, if I had a kid and I spent all this money on Fortnite and you, you just ditch it, I'm going to be pissed off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, we're going to have to have a talk about why I understand you switching up on games, but how much money I spent on Fortnite, you're going to have to keep playing that. Um, but second of all, it's like it just has too big of a following. Like, kids have put so much time into it. It's a simple game to learn. Um, you can just lose so much time into that game. Like, dude, you, you sit down, you play like three rounds. I mean, not three rounds, three games. That's what you can spend an hour just on three games. Um, depending on how long you, uh, how far you get in there. So I don't think there could be another game like Fortnite. 
Um, that's just my opinion. But uh, yeah, like if they if they do what they need to do, they can definitely survive. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't think there could be another game like Fortnite. They they already got the uh, they already have stamped their flag on uh, battle rails, so. They're number yeah, they one right now. Big dog, PUBG, because PUBG was running that shit, and they yeah. just came and they shut it down. Yup. If we don't talk about PUBG, PUBG killed itself. Yep. Like, let's True. let's talk about that. The fact that, hold on, dude, dude, hold on. Before you get into PUBG, uh, I still ain't got access, multiplayer access for some reason. I went to the uh War table. The table. Did it say yeah. um? Did Did you go? Did it um? Did you talk to Bruce about the mission? Cause I'm able to invite people right now. Hold on a second. You have to go talk to him, yeah. and then he's gonna like tell you about the mission. You gotta find um Tony, and then it's gonna be it's gonna let you be able to like invite someone. Okay, all right. Hold on a second. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna invite you now. Yeah, hit me up. Hit me up. But yeah, um, can we talk about? I just got my second knockout of my career. <laughs> All right, go ahead with your uh, what's, uh Look, PUBG. PUBG, yeah, bro. PUBG killed itself. Let's start that off. If you remember, um, Chaz, you remember every night, like for, for what, like a good year, I every night, Chris, what you plan? We about to get into some PUBG. Right. Um, PUBG was good, and the thing that saved it was the fact that it wasn't finished. It wasn't. They're like, hey, this is not a finished game. There is going to still be bugs. Um, That's the only passing grade. That's the only thing that I can give it. It's like, my game crash, I'm not that upset. It's like, okay, this is this is a, uh, it's not a finished game. I've invested about 300 hours into that game um, from the time that it, uh, it started getting popular to the time they said that it was finished. Um, and what killed it for me, what killed PUBG is the fact that you stamp the, okay, green light, this game is 100% ready to be played, and I'm still having game crashes, like, I still have to wait 10 seconds for buildings to pop up where I'm dropping with, like, 50 other people in here, and I, and I also have the Xbox One X, which is supposed to be the strongest Xbox, but I'm still seeing lag. I'm still seeing crashes. I'm still seeing uh, frame rates drop. I'm still seeing all this bullcrap of an unfinished game, and you just stamped it. Like that's what killed it. Once you say it's finished, I shouldn't be having any of these bugs. That's it. Mm, you got it. You got and, uh, that's what that's what killed it. Up, G man, had it too. They had it. Yeah, they they had it. They- they still say they be having people play, but yeah, they they definitely had it over uh Fortnite. Mhm. It was this competitor. I was like, just just don't put that. Just don't say it's finished if it's not finished. That's all I got to say. Mm-hmm. That's like putting out um. That's like putting out a movie. That's right, not. I mean, that's not done. That's a fact. What you say? Um. Yeah, what you say? Um. CB. I'm going back down to the uh, city uh, war table now. I had knocked out those lights or whatever. Oh, okay, I got you. All right, next topic. Um, let's talk about this Rocksteady releasing a new photo of the Flash. Now they released a new photo of the Flash having a target on his head, saying Suicide Squad. Now I have a theory. I feel like the Justice League is gonna end up turning evil. They're gonna get hypnotized by an enemy or something like that, and then Amanda Waller is gonna have to be. She's going to have to force the Suicide Squad to come out and fight the Justice League. Or, what happens is, well, well, someone, well, I was watching a YouTube video today, and they was explaining how Batman is trying to get Amanda Waller shut down. And she's trying to get her Suicide Squad to go against the Justice League. But I, there's so many theories that I have about this game. What's y'all thoughts about it? I don't know if y'all seen the photo, but... It, it look it looks pretty interesting. I don't know. Nah, I mean this one this the one that's uh made by Rocksteady, right? Yeah. They they released the photo. By, yeah, if it's made by Rocksteady, it's 
It's gonna be A1, bro. Trust me, it's gonna be A1. It's gonna be dope. A lot of people don't want the evil aspect. They don't want the, the um, the, uh, well, I ain't gonna say they don't want it, but a lot of people was wanting a Justice League game instead of, a, you know, a Suicide Squad game. Yeah. But to put them in it, I mean, they ain't had no choice but to put them in it to make it jump, to make it pump. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel like they're gonna do a game like this and then they're gonna mess around and turn it around and do a Justice League game, so. People just got to just, you know, sit back and wait. You know, uh, Rocksteady, they they take their time with their shit, as yeah. y'all can see. They ain't came out with nothing in a while, so they going to take that time until that everything is cooked right. They going to cook it up right, and then when it's ready, they going to release it. And they've been working on this for a long time, so I think this is going to come. I think this is going to come out sooner than a lot of people think, too. Yeah. Yeah. What about All you, right, Chris? Uh, oh, hold on. Um, Before you start, uh, what you said, what you going to do, CB? You finish it? Yep, I'm finished. I got everything open now. I right, got you. Oh, go ahead, Chris. Um, from what I heard, me and my coworker were talking about it today. Uh, the title of the game is uh Suicide Squad Kills Justice League. Oh shit. Mm. So that's what we were talking about. Mm. Um, I didn't see it, but that's what he told me. Um, and if that's true, I mean, Suicide Squad goes wild, kills the Justice League. What are we gonna do then? <laughs> that's a um, it's Rocksteady. Um, so we know they they have history making good games. Yeah. Um, I mean, especially when it came to superhero. I mean, look at the Batman series. Um, so all I can really say is. I mean, until we get more information, I can't really give my opinion on it. I hope it's good. I hope it looks good. Um, Rocksteady hasn't let anyone down before, but uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Man, it gotta be. It gotta look better than the last Batman. The last Batman looked too fucking awesome. Yeah, that should look like a movie. Uh, yeah. let's talk. Let's talk about this AMC opening back up with the movie theaters. <laughs> uh, and then. What they're doing is, I feel like it's kind of smart for them doing this. 15 cent tickets. But I don't know. I don't know how long that's going to last because 15 cent tickets, if you're selling tickets for 15 cents, you really think that's going to last long? I don't know. I don't know. Man, you also, they're they going to charge you full price for the popcorn still. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like. I mean, yeah. if I was them, I would have made it a dollar. Like, you know, every movie a dollar or five. Mm hmm. A dollar or five dollars. Yeah, because that would have made, have them make their money back that they lost over this COVID shit. Yeah, because AMC and the Regal Theater and the movie theaters in general, they be charging you so much for a ticket for a piece of paper. I'm like what the fuck? Like twenty dollars? Uh, no, <laughs> it should be cheaper than that. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. I don't know. What about you, Chris? AMC, fifteen fifteen cents for a movie because. If you think about it, that's a nice little date, especially yeah. right now when everything's on lockdown. Um, Cause you also gotta think how many people are actually about to go to an AMC. A lot with, of people during a pandemic. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong. It might just be one of those things, and we pull up and see how busy it is, and then uh, depending on how many people there, we dip out. But uh, but yeah, I mean. They can't stay out of business. They can't stay closed down for long. Yeah. That's and they gotta have some promotion to um bring people back in there. And streaming has gone up since quarantine has started. Yeah. Um so I mean nobody's about to leave their house during a pandemic to uh you know, go spend twenty dollars to go watch a movie. So you gotta do something. I, so, I think it's the right move. It just depends on whether or not people are gonna go for it. Oh, yeah. The feature is the same way. Hold up. The multiplayer has been unlocked. Failed to join unlock. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh, He's not letting on. me join. My bad. Go ahead and now do it now. Hold up. Let's try it again. <laughs> mm. Still not letting me. All right, you shoot, you shoot me one. Two players get unlocked. Did they? Do you? How many people do you have? Uh, God, everybody. Have, wait. People, you got. 
I got, I yeah, got another the story thing. that you gotta do. Real quick. Go. I pick, um, hold up. Okay. Let's see what we got left. Let's see what we got left. Uh, so, the reason why I hate playing with randoms. I hate them. I hate it. This is the reason why. Now, CB, you remember when we was playing GTA 5 and we was doing that heist and shit? Right. And then that dude kept on saying, oh, stay in the bank. Oh, we got this. We got this. And then we kept failing and shit. Right, right, because the I day hate. before we had, we had went through it and it was like nothing. We got to the end and we just fucked up at the end. Exactly. I, I, it's just like, I don't know why, like, because every time I play with a random, they always like, because I remember one time I was playing Call of Duty World War II zombie modes. And when you play zombie modes, what do you do in zombie modes? You kill the zombies until the next round. Just You survive to get to the next round. Right. And... He's basically saying, oh, don't kill the zombies, don't kill the zombies. I'm trying to get an achievement, just run around them. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'm running around them, and then I get ambushed, and I get killed, and he gets upset. So it's like, if you're going you to do dumb shit, don't don't have me in your team. Just, just do you, and I do me. That's it. I just, yeah, I just, like, they ain't got no gaming courtesy nowadays when it yeah, comes to gaming, man. Yeah, it's like, you just want to, it's just like, you want to do, I feel like, okay, you want to do your own thing, okay, you do your own thing um, in your own time. But if you're playing with other people, keep it, like, I don't know, just keep it professional. Like, let's just game. Like, stop trying to do extra shit. <laughs> because, like, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta um, think about it like this. There's other people playing. It's not just you. So when you're doing other shit and then the other people are not having fun, there's no fun in it. That's why I don't like playing with randoms. I like playing with people that I know. Even if I don't know you and I'm playing with you and we getting to know each other, okay, I'm cool with that. That's but if cool you too. but if you're doing something like the dude did with when we was playing GTA, oh, stay in the bank, and then we kept on failing the mission because we stood in the bank too long. It's like that's not that's no fun. What's the point of playing? That's just my reason why I don't like playing with randoms. That's just me. Yeah. Chris, you don't ever really play with randoms, do you? Oh, man. You wouldn't believe the nights that we need to play with randoms. Bro. Like, uh, if we don't get our entire raid team on, like, Destiny. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, and we got to do this raid with randoms. Everybody the dickhead. Everybody. <laughs> Either they don't know what they're doing and they don't want to listen, or um, they want you to do it without explaining. Like, um, for example, like dude was running uh, uh, one of the raids in Destiny 2. And I was just like, dude, we, we, we've already told you we don't know how to do this. You're not explaining it right. Um, and he pretty much just told us, like, hey, us three, we'll do it. Just stay on this side. All you gotta do is kill ads. And then you get mad at us when we fail it. Like, all, you, all I was told to do was kill ads. I can be over here, like, you know, helping you do whatever, grab the orbs, do whatever I need to do. All you gotta do is explain it to me, bro. Like, that's all you gotta do. So, if I ain't got to, I ain't gonna try. There's been many a times when I try to solo Apex and, uh, it don't, it don't work out. Um... So yeah, we said it don't work out. Yeah. <laughs> nah. What about you, CB? Me, uh, my worst involvement of playing with randoms is 2K. <laughs> I hate playing with randoms on 2K. I can tell. I like, like I said, it's just it's a it's a team sport, and if everybody ain't on the same page, you are just gonna get demolished. Mm -hmm. And people they care about their own personal stats and just getting a W. I don't understand that shit sometimes, man. That shit drive me crazy. Oh, uh, so yeah, I mean, so playing with randoms on, on, on 2K is like bad. I get to the point where like I, I had played it last time. I didn't even guard nobody. I just stayed down on the other side of the court. And I just sat there in the corner just just to see if they would like get it, like pass me the ball. And like, when they did pass me the ball, I you know definitely show my skills. But it would just be like they go right back to the same shit. You know what I mean? Not yeah. passing the ball, not doing. You know what I mean? I'm like, man, listen. I can't play like this. This ain't no fun. And gaming courtesy to people, they just, they don't respect it. Yeah, they don't you. understand. 
respect to just like to gaming culture. You know what I mean? This is it's a it should be a universal thing. Just have some respect. You ain't gotta be disrespectful and shit like that or you know what I mean, making a game born for everybody else, like we all in this thing trying to have some fun, like mm-hmm. just you know what I mean, let let let's keep that shit going, but people just so just so self centered, man. And st- stupid sometimes. They just do some dumb shit. Anyway, <laughs> Oh, uh, let's talk about this Laszlo leaving Rockstar. God damn. Rockstar is losing their good people. Like, I don't think Rockstar... I feel like if you join Rockstar, you're going to end up leaving with a bad note. Because they did that with their voice actors. Now with their, like, vo- vi- radio personnel. Like, what's up? What's going on? Rockstar. Um, I heard, like, uh, they were supposed to do... Like add-ons, like they deal with the GTA 4. Yeah. Uh, like the Ballad of Gaytonia and all that type of stuff. Because like the dude, the voice actor for Frank, uh, had mentioned it before. Um, and he was saying how he was beefing with them about it because they were supposed to do it. They recorded everything and everything mm-hmm. is done pretty much. But they, because of GTA Online going so hard. Yeah. It was just like, not in any need for it. They just killing off of transactions right now. Off yeah. of those microtransactions. Um, so I mean, I don't know, man. I I, I kind of feel for him, but you just gotta adapt, man, and just try to yeah. figure it out. What about you, Chris? You're an Avenger, Miss Khan. I really, I, I honestly have no opinion on it. Really, it's uh, I need you to get me close to the nerd so I can disable it sucks. The but it's like we don't really know what happened, like behind the scenes, and yeah. so like why, um. Like, another topic I wanted to bring up later on was uh, the actual creators of Avatar, like, leaving uh, um, the Netflix series. Um, Like, we don't know what happened behind the scenes. Yes. Um, So, we... I can't really, like, pick a side, if that makes sense. Um, Just because I want to hear both... I want to hear both sides before I make an opinion. Yes, Um, And... Cause you know you get on the wrong side and you hear what's coming on, that, that, that can screw you. Screw you. Um. So yeah, like it sucks, but I mean, it's Rockstar. They got money. They'll hire somebody else to do the job, uh, equal or if not better, not better. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Uh. uh let's get out the way. Let's talk about this. Matter of fact, let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about these games real quick. It's crazy how. So I just found out that. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yeah. CB, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Right. Can you hear me? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Marvel's, Marvel's Avengers. Marvel's Avengers. Two K twenty one. NBA Two K twenty one. And Tony Hawk Pro Skate is coming out at the same time. What the fuck? <laughs> like what's going on here? Like, here? like, like, what's your thoughts about this? <laughs> I was never a fan of like games coming out on the same day, just because like, and uh, I feel like it's one of those things where you definitely got to be, um, also what I'm looking for. You definitely got to be knowledgeable about what your competition is doing. Yeah. Um. Especially if you hear like they're all coming out either on or around the same date, um, because your biggest fan base is like lower middle middle class like yeah. families, like that's where it's at, and like when you have to decide over um three games that come out in the same week i mean your biggest profits are going to come day of release mm-hmm. that first weekend that's where your biggest profits coming from why are you trying to compete with other people like you know what i'm saying it just doesn't make sense like um definitely i think they all are gonna make money yeah. um like my personal favorite out of the three tony hawk pro skater you will not believe how many hours i put into that as a kid um, but it's definitely one of those things. Like, why even, why even put yourself out there to have to compete? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's like going to a, somebody that's just disqualified. So, 
the fan enough money to buy to me out of all of those. You said two Tony Hawk. These all major games. I ain't gonna say it. it's like it's ASAP. It's like a scatter on that one and. I put so much time into that shit just to stop get a lot of goosebumps just playing that shit like just seeing it in a different uh state you know gray state now being in hd and just being you know upgraded and stuff from the round up that's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna take them more time because i'm gonna love that shit i'm gonna be playing the hell out of that shit mm -hmm. it's a classic yeah, it's a super classic man nah, what you think pg so many games uh, uh, well when it well, happened when, when, ha when a lot of games come out at the same time the same i like time. it i like it i'm excited for it i'm excited for it but at the same but time the it's same like time it's, it's like, good for the customers it's good for the customers but when it comes up well, to the gaming industry, industry that's kind of bad, that's kinda bad. because like that's imagine bad. imagine imagine rockstar imagine rockstar and 2K, 2K was coming out at the same time like imagine gta the new gta 6 came out and 2K22 came, 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 came out at the same time. Who you mm. think is gonna get the most money? Get the most money. GTA or 2K? GTA or 2K? It's a tough one. one. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. I, don't know. I gotta say 2K. I gotta say 2K. Well, GTA is the so the most games in gaming history. So it's gonna True. get the True. But that's over time. That's over time. That's over time. Yeah. Over time. Yeah, that's over time. I feel what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Like 2K probably gonna get the up the most uh, surge in the beginning, but over time, GCA gonna sell more though. Let me tell Let me you, tell working you in, working uh, in uh, gaming uh, retail, retail, never underestimate the drug dealers. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll tell you, they will spend that three hundred dollars just to play 2K. No joke. I've seen it. That's crazy. And you know how many times I've sold GTA to the same person? Like, uh, not GTA, but NBA to the same person. On top of like how much money they spend on VCs. Like, bro, like, it's no joke. So I don't know. That'll be a over time. I'm thinking GTA, but if we're talking about like an immediate like. I, I gotta pick between what I'm gonna play this weekend. Mm -hmm. I think popularity wise, NBA got it. Sure. Gotta see. You got to see. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully they all do good. And oh, I almost forgot to mention. Um, they said su the new Suicide game is going. Suicide, suicide Squad game is going to be just like the Avengers. You gonna have to like. It's basically like a loot and shoot. You gotta grind out for your character and shit like that. It's like a live service game. Oh, I don't. Uh, I don't know if you have any thoughts about that, but yeah. Any thoughts? Show me gameplay, then I'll give my opinion. That's all I gotta say. Show me gameplay and uh, characters, like, and uh, tell me what I'm grinding for. Like Avengers, like Avengers I'm grinding, I'm grinding for, for your, uh, uh, skins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, um, once I'm back, once I'm back, character. character. I'm just I'm grinding for skins. For skins. What up? What up? Um, um, if you're gonna go that route, that route, you gotta give me something else. Like, like, I, I get it. Yeah. Like Destiny, one of the things that Destiny does so well is uh, they're rewarding you slowly, but they're rewarding you for uh, for doing stuff. If that makes sense. So. <laughs> yeah. What about you, CB? Uh, what was your question again? Cause my phone, my mic kind of went out again. Oh, you saying um, what was they reward you for? In Avengers? No, they, no, um, what they're doing is they're doing a live service game. So it basically it's gonna be like Destiny, Marvel's Avengers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be like a loser shoot basically. Um, as far as Avengers being this, I did want something more direct a more single player experience but i know with avengers being avengers they had to make it some type of multiplayer way i mean this is probably the best way that you can make it multiplayer honestly mm -hmm. uh i mean yeah i mean it's really i mean like, unless you did like a, a ultimate alliance and just with yeah. better graphics and if you ain't did nothing like that then you had to make it this type of a gameplay game style i got you Signal should be coming through now. Got you. I got it. I got it. The tracker will leave uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, this would be the best option. I mean, honestly, for the new age and how everything is going with multiplayer. Alright. 
Got you. Copy, copy, copy. Um. Data remains inconclusive. Fortnite is beefing with Apple. Apple is beefing with Fortnite. What the hell? They make so much money and they beefing with each other. God damn. What's your thoughts? Actually, CB, so, I'm gonna give you the floor because you know more about this topic than I do. So take the. Take, I just take the you mic. know uh, listen to like some of the lawsuit that Epic had wrote for um, wrote against Apple. Yeah. If y'all don't know, it kind of connect to like. Apple and Google and all them going into court not too long ago about them being um, basically considered a monopoly for all their competition. They've been pretty much eating up the industry in all their different fields, like Amazon, Google, Apple. Um, so basically, Epic, Apple gets a cut already from selling uh, their games on on uh the platforms right mm -hmm. on like apple you know platforms and everything like that but yeah. on the mobile devices right they get an extra 30 percent on top of that so epic did something not too long ago where they was kind of like cutting apple out of the deal or something like that when they um when they recently did it so they did that and apple immediately took them off of their store like took them off of the apple store so if you got an iphone you can't play fortnite no more uh or you can't download it no more um with android they google did the same thing but google still allows you to like download uh, game basically on to your phone through like epic.com you can still do it through like you know other third parties but they were just basically showing like okay see how y'all just took us off of the map you know what I mean just cause yeah. we said you know y'all y'all getting too much of this bread and we just showing people like y'all really like are a monopoly like y'all ain't just adjust or come to the table and say like let's you know figure something out y'all just took us off of the whole store crazy like just took them off of the whole store in a day like no time so right after they took them off of the store epic came out with like a little propaganda trailer just uh mimicking like one of apple's uh old school um trailers um and just saying how like you know they're monopoly and you know they just bad you know they the evil empire basically and we trying to shut them down and get that you know get that make it an even playing field for everybody um, and stop cutting into our paychecks, like, you know, stop cutting into the, you know, feed and into the money like that. So, it's just ugly. This is real ugly. That just happened in like a two or three day span. <laughs> so, they, they, everybody wondering what's gonna happen on like a Monday. You know, you see what's gonna yeah. happen, like, if it's gonna get worse. I'm gone. What about you, Chris? You have anything? So, what you think about that? So sure they gonna make money either way, so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like one of those things, like, oh, looks like mom and dad are fighting, I'm gonna sit in the corner and see who wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they make too much money to be arguing with each other, like, come on, man, come on. I, I will say, it's, it's kind of underhanded on both sides, because, like, instead of having the discussion, you just cut them out. That's messed up. Um, yeah. That's bad business. Super bad. Um, but Apple is like has always been shady anyway. Um, like we're not gonna talk about they uh, them legally getting caught like slowing down old iPhones to get messed up. Yeah. Um, and then also let's not talk about uh them cutting a like not cutting but uh laying off like a shit ton of people because they had to pay that big ass fine with no notice um shitty um but they don't make money either way so it's not gonna affect them i mean what apple had to pay 50 million dollars they cut some people and we're just like all right let's keep this going <laughs> so it's like Epic is like, I'm still gonna make money off this battle pass because they lowered the price on uh, after that, they lowered the price on uh, god, what was it? It was the uh, in game DLC for uh, Fortnite, they lowered the price on that, so you can get more V Bucks for less money. Kids about to buy, start, start buying more V Bucks, um. 
So it's one of those things where it's just like they both gonna make money. Yeah. Let's just see who wins. Tough. <laughs> Oh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about Def Jam release news. So basically, Def Jam put out on their Twitter saying if they get a certain amount of likes or followers, they're going to give us some news that we be happy about. Now, if they do make a Def Jam remastered, shit, I'll be hyped about that. Because I'm, like, I, I played it, but I never had it for myself. I never, like, I never had really had the game for myself, but I played it before. But if they, had a, if they do a remastered, I'll be hyped about that. Not even a remaster, just give me Takashi. I just want to fight with Takashi. See how underhanded he is. <laughs> that would be funny, bro. <laughs> Rainbow King. But yeah, I mean, I played like, every Def Jam. I like them all. Um, I think Vendetta was my favorite one, or the best one to me. Um, I like how they use the old wrestler systems of, like, No Mercy. Yeah. And, and put that into the game. But when they went from that... Um, the game definitely did, but when it was at its prime is when they used that, that engine. And I wish, like, wrestling games would go back to that engine because Thanks. it's just, I mean, that was the most cleanest wrestling engine that you could pretty much come up with at, the, at that moment. Um, and it was really ahead of its time. And I understand that they like to use the new systems and how they do things now, but those animations just don't, they don't click right, they don't, they don't seem right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's nice, you know. But, yeah, <laughs> that's my thoughts on it. I feel you. All right, uh, next topic. A few topics left. Really quick, can I ask something? Oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just want to talk about. So the original creator of Avatar have left the Netflix. Um, let's talk about that real quick, because that mm -hmm. was wild. Um, basically, they uh, posted an actual comment. So we know why they left, um, which is wild. So we all know Netflix was doing a live-action uh, Avatar series, because the last one, the last Avatar, was garbage. It got whitewashed. It was terrible. Um, Netflix picks it up, and they hired the original creators... And apparently, Netflix and the original creators have been beefing so much. Um, Netflix wanted a majority white cast. Mm -hmm. um, Whoa. The, really? Oh, here, here's the kicker. The, origin, uh, the creators were like, we don't want any white people in this movie, in this show. <laughs> Their literal response was, we don't want any white people in here. Um, I can't be mad at them because I mean it's a. Uh, I mean they, it's just what it is. Really mad at that. If that wanted to uh, violence and uh, crazy. We hope. I never saw one of my favorite. overall just a deal. How they just bent how uh how they related to nature and just understanding just everything is connected i mean it's so many gems and avatar is crazy so i i really really like avatar and for them to just again mess up a lot i, I think they should just leave it alone i think honestly the, the original creator should uh do a time skip and go into when ang was a little bit older do some i know they did like flashbacks from the core series but I think they should do like a whole series and when he was like older you know what I mean like really yeah. older to sell some stories of that and then you can go back to the core series when she got older and then after that go on to another avatar you know what I mean do the next avatar but uh, or if you do anything just go into the next avatar and see what happened after core you know did what she did but at the same time all that extra shit, like sex and like, people, it's kids love this show. Like exactly. you do that shit, and that's just doing too much. 
you 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 messing with the the spirit of that of the series. You messing with the spirit of just how how positive that was. That, that shit ain't about sex. Ain't nothing about Avatar about sex. So I mean, they did have like relationships, and you know they had it, but the way they presented it was such in a cool way and such in a friendly way. It was like, nah, don't don't mess with that. Don't mess with the innocence of the Avatar. Like, don't try to make that shit grown. That ain't a grown type of thing. That's a family type of thing. Exactly. So, yeah, I like agree. My, I, I, I like when my kids, like all of my children, like I love Avatar so much. When they get a certain age, my children get a certain age. Uh, like my son got a certain age, he watched it. And I, you know, as he brought, as he was asking questions about certain things, I broke that shit down to him based off the stuff that I knew. And with my daughter, same way, she broke it down to her. And so when my little one get get um, old enough, like she be watching it, but she don't understand it. But when she get old enough, she gonna watch the whole series. We gonna watch sit down and watch the whole series again. Like, and they be into that shit. Like we will sit down and binge the whole series. Charting a course now. Let me just say, but uh, Sokka could have definitely. Laid some pipe down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sokka <laughs> probably be the one to do the shit too, cause he's just so gun ho. They could be just a hornball. <laughs> yeah, four chicks under him. Let's see. We got the Moon Spirit Toph. She never admitted it, but we knew she wanted Sokka. Um, yeah. We had Suki too. Um, I think that was his most. Uh, that's his most compatible. Mm. I don't know. Moon Spirit was it. Uh, you were the Moon Spirit was it, but Kiosh you were the Kiosh you were cause, uh that was his that was his that was his, that was his, that was his girl, bro. That was his girl. That's probably who she probably, he probably ended up marrying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all I had to say on Avatar. I just wanted to get that out because I ain't have I ain't been able to vent on that yet. You like uh you like Avatar PG or what what kind of anime you like? I'm I'm still trying to get into anime. Like I I was watching I was watching Naruto and I fell off. I was like uh I don't feel like watching all this. I watch it later. It's a lot of filler episodes, man. It is yes. a lot of filler episodes. Yeah. But the good episodes is really, really good. I had had, had to start over myself because I had started um, started it a long time ago, but I just kind of like fell off. So I ended up restarting it again. And my son started it off with me, but he just took off, man. He's just watching them like binge watching them like crazy. Like, and I just couldn't keep up with them. But I mean, I plan on like going back into it. I'm like on the third or fourth season. And I know I got way more to go, but it's just that shit. It's so many filler episodes. <laughs> That's crazy. And when you got a life, you just gotta you gotta take it how you get it. You know what I mean? And it got your own pace. Yeah. I'll tell you if you ever want some good anime recommendations, hit me up. <laughs> yeah, Chris is a anime god, man. He like I'm good. I'm cool. I got my basics, my DBZ, my avatars, uh, Bleach. Um, Samurai, uh, what's my, uh, Shampoo, shit like that. I don't mean, I got some stuff that I'm into, but Chris know, like, damn it, he know 10 times more than me and what kind of anime. Hey, it's my life. <laughs> Alright. Next topic, uh, DC Phantom event is coming up soon. So basically, in this event, they're gonna be like, like giving us like probably a preview of the new Batman game, the new Suicide Squad game. Um, they're talking about a new Batman movie that they might show. They're probably gonna show more trailers, new trailers of Wonder Woman, and just more DC stuff. Any thoughts about it? They said they might pull out. Oh, you talking about like a DC um, convention yeah, or whatever? Yeah, like event for us. For like the new DC stuff coming soon. I mean, it's needed. Uh, I mean, they got DC got to do something. Like yeah. they got to make some moves. Uh, Cause what Marvel's what Phase Two about to kick in or Phase Three about to kick in? But I know everything. Put on hold. Yeah, I know everything put on hold. But like the game plan that I see, what they about to come out with with these next villains, like this shit about to be another epic. Another epic trilogy, <laughs> like they about to come out with two epic trilogies back to back. Like so, I mean DC, but it come with some. Like we were just talking about, they can't come with no half baked. They gotta really like. I think they need to stick to the comics, man. Like stick yeah. to the ones that's like really, really classics. Like they should really come out with a hush. That's oh, my yeah. favorite like oh, DC comic. Like 
They, I mean, I know they just did the anime version of it, but they need to come like make that a movie. Yeah, like that. If they can like really make that a movie and stick to the like guts of it, like don't try to gut it out, change some shit, add some shit, try to make your own little universe with it. Make Hush Hush, because Hush Hush by itself is just it's a classic, bro. And it the drama in that itself can hold it down. Like just make it good and put the right actors in that shit. Yup. The way they did it in the anime, um, they could do it in a real, in a real action way. Cause like if like you Batman add, versus Superman should have been that. That's what exactly. That's, that's what that should have been. Cause it's like, it's crazy how the animation movies are better than the live action movies. That's that's really yeah. crazy. It's, it's sad. They're holding them down. It's yeah, sad. they're holding them down right now. Now, do you think Marvel's anime or DC anime is better? Now DC animation movies are better. I think DC anime movies are better than Marvel anime movies for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Better. The the movie the 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 um, real life movies like the live action Marvel movies they got it on lock, but the anime yeah. movie movie for um DC they killing it. So it's like, hey, what's saying? No, one hundred percent. Get it. I'm a I'm a DC fan. Like I. I well, you see, and what kills me about it is the fact that they do so well with their animated movies. Like, I have not seen a bad DC animated movie. Right, man. That's um, so fat, man. And it's they trying to catch up with Marvel, who has, like, it took 10 years for them to get to where they were. Exactly. You're trying to do it now. Like, you, you just can't build that up. I think they need to stop, scrap the entire universe. Um, do it again. Just, re, just do it again. Give us, Damn, bro. You got to do it right. <laughs> you you got to do it right. Think about it. it. Well, they did it to Spider Man, didn't they? Yeah, most of the time. They right. did it. Three yeah, times. They did it to Spider Man until they got it right, boy. But uh, here's what you got to do. Right. Perfect plan. Give me a Batman movie, Batman movie. Mm -hmm. and if we gonna do Batman. Batman. I personally believe there's not one actor out right now that can play, play Batman and Bruce Wayne. There's not. Because um, every Batman that I've seen, I've liked either you, I like either the Batman, uh, actor as Batman or Bruce Wayne, never both. Pay two people to just do both roles. That's it. You got a point. You got a point. You got a point on that. Uh, um, but I mean, who could be, who would you pick as your Batman though? Like, who would you pick as those two different actors? Right I don't know. Ben Affleck. I think Ben Affleck did a fantastic yeah, Bruce Wayne. He did a good job. Like Bruce, Bruce Wayne, Wayne, but he wasn't. He was not a scare. He wasn't a Batman. But like Christian who, Bale, Batman the other one over, that, um, over, uh, over um over the new recent or uh, what's his name, Batman? Yeah. Um, you talking about the Batman new guy, Affleck. the Twilight guy, Robert? Uh, Christian Bale, the one before, the one before Ben Affleck. Oh, Christian, Christian Bale. Bale? I, I think he did fantastic as Batman, but not Bruce Wayne. Mm. I feel okay. like if you just swap the roles, just give me that. Have two people play, and that's it. That's it. Because there are two completely different personalities, and I don't think there's one actor out there that can do both. Um, and how it should be, Batman should be the first person. This should be the first movie. We need a Superman origin story, a good Thank one. A good you don't one. Like the last Superman movie. Man, no, they cut corners with CGI and like so much. Give me the original story. I should have, and I'm talking about by the final time that we get to uh, Justice League. The Justice League should not be a thing until um every the original Second seven phase. members of the Justice League has an origin story. I think the only one they should keep is uh, Aquaman, though. Aquaman <laughs> was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was definitely. Um, but, and at the end of each one, 